Hey everyone, welcome to the Wargaming Parrot, I'm David and today we're going to be talking about why playing with your parrot is important and give you some tips on how you can do so. Now there's always this traditional view with parrots and many other animals where you just put your parrot in its cage or you have it sitting out and about and that's what you need to do. Same with dogs, cats, all sorts of animals that they just didn't need any interaction and this view has been challenged again and again in the modern world. Animals need as much mental stimulation as we do. They need all sorts of activities to keep them having fun and doing all sorts of things. So this is why I thought I'd make this video just to give you some tips on how you can do this. The other thing I wanted to mention before I start is there's not much difference between play and training in many cases. So if some of the things overlap, it's important to remember that if you're training a bird, it doesn't necessarily mean you're not playing with your bird. And if you're playing with your bird, it doesn't necessarily mean you're not training your bird. So it's just important to keep that in mind. Please do stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to do a nice little clip show of the birds playing. So I know you guys like seeing them doing all sorts of things. So we'll be doing a little clip show of showing us playing with them and doing all sorts of fun things too. So the, my first and most important reason why you should play with your bird is mental stimulation. Parrots are incredibly intelligent creatures and they need to be mentally stimulated. Just like us, if we get bored, we tend to get stressed and we just don't enjoy our lives as much. So it's the same for parrots. They need lots and lots of fun things to do and lots of mentally stimulating activities. Now, this is one of those broad terms here. So most of the clips for this will be in the um, little clip show at the end. But for mental stimulation, it could be something as simple as playing peekaboo like we do with pickles, hiding behind a chair and trying to get her to guess which side we're going to pop up on. It could be something like tidying with Chip, where he picks up the little bottles and puts them in the vending machine. It could be anything as simple as running around the house and having Scampy follow us. There's so many different ways you can play with your bird that provides mental stimulation. And it's just so rewarding for both you and your bird when they start working things out. Pickles B. Pickles B. Pickles B. So my next um, really important reason for playing with your parrot is exercise. Parrots need lots and lots of exercise to stretch their wings and skitter around, do lots of things. Now Sophie just did a video on exercise, which I'll leave a card for now, because it's awesome to watch and it, it's ways you can encourage your parrot to exercise. But Exercise is so important, especially your wings. You want your parrot to be flying around and exercising those wing muscles. It's also very good for getting out excess energy, so your parrot won't be screaming and misbehaving. It's also good for hormones and all sorts of things like that. For exercise, it can be as simple as something like them exploring the floor and running around. It can be playing recall games with them, so they fly to you back and forth, stationing, or like with Scampi, where we run out of the room, call for him, have him come to us, and then come back, sort of like a hide and seek variant. There's all sorts of different cool ways you can exercise with your bird, and it's fun for both you and them. So a great way you can bond with your parrot is through play. It's, it just helps strengthen that bond with you. And when you first get your parrot, you can start that as, with something as simple as target training or just moving a tree at different point, points in the cage. And bonding is something you want to be maintaining as well. So through play and consistently playing and training with your bird, you can maintain that bond with them. And they will just be more enthusiastic about being with you because you're playing with them and they know they're gonna get mental stimulation and lots of fun when they're with you. Now I mentioned in my intro about training and how play and training tend to sort of like cross borders. They're both very similar when you're playing with your parrots. Now parrots are awesome problem solvers. So as I mentioned in mental stimulation, if you're training them with um, problem solving skills through problem solving toys, for example, the teach box or the vending machine or shapes, uh, puzzle shapes in places, that sort of thing, you are exercising their mind and you are encouraging that problem solving skill. And also through training, you're encouraging, as I said, bonding, but also curbing excess hormones, curbing excess energy, and also working through behavioral problems. For example, through training, target training, or um, even 
like putting stuff in receptacles, you are training positive behaviours, and that means your parrot's more likely to come to you, that means your parrot's going to respond to you, and that means you can take your parrot out of dangerous situations. With this, if you're just starting your training, I would highly suggest target training. I have a video on target training, which I'll leave a card for now, but all sorts of play and training cross borders. So just try different things and see what your parrots and you enjoy. Stampy touch. Good boy. Spin. Spin. Good girl. High five. Good boy. The next reason why playing your parrot is very important is fun. Now, I have so much fun training and playing of our birds. It's just rewarding to see them work things out and just see their little cute chirps and just enjoy themselves skittering. Even just watching them skittering around or flying is fun. So it's fun for you, but it's fun for them as well because they genuinely enjoy it. Not all birds will play in the same way or enjoy the same kinds of training, so it's important to tailor it to your individual bird and try lots of different things to see what they like to do. But generally, I don't think there's a parrot on the planet who doesn't enjoy some kind of play. They're just like us, they enjoy playing. They're like little kids, basically. So you need to play with them and just have fun doing it as well. There's no point getting stressed if they're not doing what you'd like to do. Just take a step back. Think of something else to do and see what they do enjoy and see what you enjoy as well because if you're not enjoying it they're not enjoying it it's not really worth doing you want to do it so you're both having lots of fun pickles 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 Another important part of playing with your parrots, or in this case, not with your parrots, is independence and confidence. Playing with them builds independence and confidence. And not just playing with them, but encouraging them to play on their own. So for example, if you have lots of toys out and about in a room, not just a, a room with nothing going on, you can encourage independent play. And foraging can be part of independent play. You can have a, a little foraging tray out and about where they can sit around in there and look for treats. This also includes exploring your room, having toys on the floor and letting them interact with them when they want to and just try them out. This encourages their independence because you don't want your bird always clinging to you. You want them to be able to enjoy their time on their own and have lots of fun. But at the same time, you can build up their confidence by playing with them and having lots of fun with them. So keep this in mind. Encourage independent play and also play with them lots as I've talked about and build up their confidence and independence. With play, you can also make your parrot's cage interesting and fun. Now, your parrot's cage shouldn't be a barren just box with a couple of mirrors or whatever in it. Again, a very traditional view there, one toy, one mirror, that's all they need. They don't need lots of excitement or fun. It is rubbish. And I say rubbish, and I know it's a strong word, or maybe not so strong, depending on your opinions, but I just completely disagree. You want their cage to be like a home for them. A lots of really fun place, just like yours. You have lots of fun things. We have our consoles, we have our books, we have our TVs. Their toys and their interactions in their cage are equivalent to that. So you want them to be able to play and have lots of fun in their cage, just like when they're outside the cage. So it's important to put lots and lots of fun toys in there and also train them how to use them. Sophie, again, has a video on training parrots to use toys, which I'll leave a card for now, which is very useful to watch. Just because your parrot doesn't initially interact with a toy in a cage doesn't mean they never will. So for example, with these two little monsters, we might put a toy in there, they won't bother with it for ages. Then suddenly, we'll turn around and they'll be chewing it and they won't leave it alone for ages. So encouraging play, independent play in their cage, as well as out, is also very important. My next point is also very useful for us humans. 
Playing with your para is also not just rewarding for us, but incredibly useful for us. A lot of people complain about excessive screaming, excessive energy, uh, restlessness, stress behaviors, and all sorts of things like that. Now playing with your para and encouraging them to play independently is exceptionally helpful with these kinds of behaviors. If your parrot is bored, it's sitting there, it's got nothing to do, it's gonna get a lot of energy in there. And when you do let it out, or when you do interact with it, or leave the room, it's going to be screaming for you, it's going to be misbehaving. If you play with your parrot, get all that energy out through exercise, through lots of mental stimulation, or provide lots of mental stimulation in the cage, it's lot, a lot less likely that parrot's going to be screaming, it's going to be attention seeking, and it's going to be exhibiting stress behaviors. So it can also even help with hormonal behavior because they've got less energy, less energy? Sorry, because they've got, they're get, getting more of their energy out, it means they're less likely to have excess energy to start um, exhibiting nesting behaviors. Sorry, I put shit on um, Sophie there. So one of the more common sort of um, behaviors that parrots exhibit when they're stressed or bored or hormonal is biting. And so if your parrot's in getting that biting behavior out on toys, it's doing, it's getting lots of energy out playing, it's gonna be less likely to bite because you can redirect that behavior onto other things. So it's very important to encourage play just to stop boredom, stop biting, stop hormonal behavior and stop excess energy and screaming. Spin. So I've shown you some clips throughout this video of various sort of like plays and fun things. But I'm gonna show you sort of like a collection of clips. I know you guys enjoy it and you can just see our birds enjoying and playing and maybe it's some ideas for playing with your own.
cheap. So thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you found this video useful and it may encourage you to play more of your birds or find different tips and tricks for playing your birds in different ways. There's all kinds of ways you can play your birds so do try lots of different things. If you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to drop them below and in the meantime take care and have an awesome day.